Greetings and welcome to this brand new video. In this video, I will show you how you can enable JIT or just in time on iOS 26 so that your apps can run faster. The method shared in this video is completely free and it is very easy thanks to the developer. But first, you will have to simply prepare your device. For this video, as a demo, I will be using UTM to show you that when you open it, the JIT is already enabled and you can use it. As you can see, if I hit the plus icon, I can see this message, which means JIT is not yet enabled. Once an app is installed, which requires JIT, open settings, then go to general, then go to device management and then simply trust your app from here. Make sure Wi-Fi is connected. Secondly, then go back to the main settings, then scroll to privacy and security, scroll all the way down and then enable developer mode. You will see developer mode when you have installed an app using side orderly. All right. For example, simply turn it on. Your device will restart and it will turn on. Again, open settings, go back to the main settings menu, then make sure you set a passcode. If a passcode is not set, we will be needing it when we want the pairing file. Next is the main app. Simply go to the official app store and install stick debug. Simply search for it and install it. It is completely free. All right, as you can see, the app is now installed. We will go back and you will see it on your home screen. Now. To get the pairing file only, we will require a computer. Now to get the pairing file, you will require Jitterbug Pair. Jitterbug Pair is completely free and we are at its official GitHub page as you can see it right here. Now under releases, get to the latest available release. Scroll down and if you are using Windows like me, simply get the Jitterbug Pair Win64 dot zip file to your computer first. Now to make Jitter bug pair work, of course, you will need iTunes to communicate with your device. Simply get iTunes from the official Apple's website and install it on your Windows PC. Simply extract the zip file and you will get this folder. Open it. At this point, please connect your device via USB and make sure passcode is set like I shown you in the start of this video and then simply open jitter bug pair and on your device for the first time you will see this trust dialog hit on trust and then simply put in the passcode and then for the second time again open it and you will get the pairing file right here now you can send this file to yourself via email and then simply get it to your device now the rest of the process is on device all right guys once you transfer the pairing file from your computer to your iphone or ipad as you can see it right here now simply open stick debug you will see the screen hit on continue then hit on allow then simply put in your passcode then select pairing file simply locate the pairing file all right and you can see all these lights are now green which means everything is working properly now you can simply hit connect by app and now you can select an installed app which requires jit so for this video at the demo we have utm i will simply open it i will now hit this plus button and you can see we have a different message, which means JIT is 100% enabled, no issues whatsoever. Now, if you open the stick debug app, you can see we have settings. You can import a new pairing file if you want. You can change the appearance and so on. You can also open console to see if you have errors and to debug them. And we have device info. That's all for this video if you still have questions please ask in the comment section and i will reply you as soon as possible i will see you in a new video goodbye and take care of yourself